everyone, this is Dr. Jen with Coaching Flores. Um, so we are a family who was not able to go to Disney because of COVID-19. Um, so today, you may have seen our Facebook post that we did some fine motor skills with making Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse in a banana. Um, so that was fun. And now this afternoon, Disney has posted their Dole Whip recipe. So I thought it would be fun to do a little aided input with our large core board here while making um, the Dole Whip. So, how does that sound, Bear? Meow. What do you think? What do you think? Sound delicious? Yeah, so what do we need to make ice cream? Um, make it bow in this. Oh, we are going to mix it up in here. We're gonna mix up the pineapple with this. So when we make ice cream, Dole Whip, I'm gonna use this vanilla ice cream. And it's taken us a couple of orders to be able to get a hold of vanilla ice cream. Um, but we finally have it today. So, oh, I think we need a spoon. A spoon, yep. Let's see, where I should have had this out ahead of time, shouldn't I? How about this one? What do you think? Yeah, that'll work? Okay, our recipe says that we need one big scoop of ice cream. Can you do that? Can you do? All right. He's using his muscles. Can I help? All right, friends, so when we do modeling and aided input, um, you do not have to model every single word that you say. Uh, you can start with just modeling one or two words. That might be your comfort level and maybe your child's comfort level. And then as you get more comfortable, you can model more words. You can pick out different words that you want to focus on, or you can try to ro model a robust vocabulary too. Okay. So if you're just tuning in now, we are making Dole Whip recipe. So we did one big scoop of vanilla ice cream. Next, we need pineapple juice. All right, and it says half a cup or four ounces. So pour that in. You can also do a little bit with sabotage, so not always providing everything you need. Tell me, what do you say? That's my word. <laughs> Please. Please help. Help. Or help right here. Okay. In our household, we do multimodal communication. So we're using um, verbal. We can use pictures or we can use sign language. Where's that? On the edge. Which at line? We're actually going to go to the top this time. Why? Because we need a full cup. Multimodal communication allows you to get your message across no matter what. So if you're in the restroom and it's easier to use um, hands to sign for help or want, um, you can do that. If you're next to your communication device and that's easiest to convey your message, you can do that too. Okay, pour it in. Or vocalizations, you know, pointing to something and uttering that you would want it works as well. All right, what, honey? What is next? It yes. says two cups of frozen pineapple. And I got a little creative. I could not find frozen pineapple in the grocery stores for the last couple of weeks. So I froze my own. Can you dump this in? Okay. Yep, do it. Muchos. Muchos. Si. We also speak Spanish in our household. <laughs> All right. Now... What do you think we do next? Mix. Mix it. Put on. Ooh, push. You're very strong. Which button? Which button? Light. Will you do it or I do? I do. Okay, so let's go up high. Some of that pineapple. 
apple down. What do you think? I'm, 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 I'm going potty. Okay. See you later. Co-host just left. That means I get to go on. He's usually pretty fast. I'm just going to stir this in a little bit more. So if your child uses pictures to communicate or sign language, be modeling in your daily activities. Um, so this is nothing special, no special lesson plans needed. You can just go ahead and um, bring the communication board, device, whatever you have with you. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you washed. All right, and just model all the time. No special activities needed. All right, lid on. Try again. This one? Yep. I really have a hard time with that frozen. Oh, let's go into high gear. Okay? Let's try. Where's the word try? Try that. Okay? My turn? Yeah. I will try. Oh boy, it really doesn't like that. Do you think maybe more juice would help? Yes. Let's try getting a little more liquor in. There's only two ounces left. Try pouring that in. All of it? Yep, let's do it. Oh, that should be good, shouldn't it? I think so. That should melt it. That should melt it. All right. Very strong. All right, let's try the spoon again. See if we can't get some of that liquid down in there. Looks like it's almost done. Looks like it's almost done. All right. Put it on again. If you're just tuning in, we are making dole whip. a little bit buddy. So on our core board it says C. You can use that word interchangeably. So look Bear. What do you think? Do you think it looks ready? Yeah. Nice and creamy? Yep. Okay. Now what? Now what? Get out the cups. Oh are we gonna put it in a cup? Yeah. Let's put it in a cup. You go get a cup. You find a cup. The more you become familiar with a child's device and communication system, the easier it is to locate words and know what they have access to on their device as well. Ooh. Let's see it. This is a special cup, isn't it? Yes, for you. Oh, it's for me? Yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. I want one of those ones. One up high? I want that green one. A green, this one? No. This one? No. Oh, in here? Oh my goodness. I don't think I have a green. Red. You can pick. Find a cup. The child also doesn't have to actually be looking at you when you're modeling. Um, you know that our children are always paying attention to what we do, whether they look like they're looking or not. Um, so we model all the time, knowing that eventually they will start uh, communicating with their device as well. I'm done. All right. Should we try it? Sure. Let's try. Ooh. How's it smell? Smell it. Mm. Oh, it smells like pineapple. Cheers.
Not too bad, maybe a little strong on the pineapple. I think we'll add more vanilla ice cream since we added more juice. Sound good? Do you want to try again? No, thank you. <laughs> you like it just the way it is? 